So Mac OS has been around for a while, but unlike Windows, there's like 14 different versions. And that's just Mac OS 10 and up. So let's take a trip down memory lane and try using every Mac OS version from 2001 to 2023. Well, actually Mac OS has been around since 1984, but it was basically a different operating system before 2001. And there might be a surprise at the end, so stick around to find out. So first up is Mac OS Sonoma. <laughs> To be completely honest with you, I don't even notice the difference between these operating systems. The only thing that does change is the wallpaper, I guess. Just whatever. Like, let's rewind the clock a little bit. Now, Sonoma, Ventura, Monterey, Big Sur look pretty much the same, honestly. Let's go back. 2018. Of course, we're emulating. Trust me, it was a huge pain in the ass to get it working. Please like and subscribe. Finally, I must warn you, it is very slow. Don't worry, though, older operating systems are snappier. Is that... Whoop, whoop, whoops. Oh, we went into dark mode. You know, one thing I've noticed is that Mac OS over the years is like, the f***, the f***, bro. Yeah, as I was saying, freaking icons, they look like, they look like the iOS icons. Like, the difference between these is like, basically not there. Like, we need a little coffee break, you know? See, you, you see what I mean? Like, the, the font, it looks a little different. But apart from that, it looks kind of the same. Nothing really to see here. Oh, God, it's so slow. Let's move on before I lose my marbles. Now let's try Mac OS High Sierra from 2017. Finally, there we go. And that's how it looked like in 2018. Call me crazy, but I like the early to mid 2000s like Aero Frutiger design. This flat design, like, mm, it ain't it. But whatever, we have to go a little further back in time because it'll get more exciting then. Oh dear God. Ugh. Oh, there we go. Emulation. Whoa, there we go. Again, looks pretty much the same let's 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 move on a little quicker so we got mac os yosemite from 2015 i must warn you this is a uh, quite unstable from like 2015 to like 2019 mac os like really didn't change oh god mac os 10.9 i think is the first to be named not after a cat because you know they ran out of cats i feel like they should have thought about this like when they were like oh let's name it after cat Mac OS Cougar. Oh, and Bobcat. You never went at Bobcat. No, oh, is Bobcat a big cat? I don't know. Oh, wow. That looks... Well, that's the first, like, big aesthetic change. Still got iTunes, which now it's called the Music App. Safari. That old Safari logo. Dude. Launchpad. That old Finder logo as well, too. Oh, man. This is bringing back memories, not gonna lie. Like, yeah, I forgot how different it used to look. Damn. That old folder icon. That's how the App Store looked. <laughs> the old FaceTime logo as well. Let's open Safari. I think it should be connected to the internet. <laughs> That looks ancient, dude. It's a bit slow. Oh, that's broken, dude. Now let's move on to the last big cat operating system. Mac OS X Mountain Lion. Already loving that, you know, weird cloth-like background. Kind of cool though, not gonna lie. It's just me where the buttons look a little different as well. Everything looks a little bit shinier, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh God. Did the app store do, what, whoop, shit. Why did it fucking close it? Was the app store about to load? Oh my God, it's so slow. God. Damn it. <laughs> Whatever. Let's just freaking move on. No, uh, this is Lion. Lion is also the first Mac OS to come with the App Store. Yo, look, the, the freaking App Store works. Oh, there's a lot of shit missing though. <laughs> I mean, I guess work is like a strong word. Ah, uh, that old wallpaper. Let's see Safari. So we do have internet. Yeah, it's very broken. <laughs> How do you make a new freaking tab? What the hell? Yeah, YouTube's just gonna be like, update your browser. I wouldn't really recommend using Lion in this day and age. Although it's still got the remnants of that old, like the X and the, they still got that Aqua interface. So old apple aesthetic it's just got a vibe you know what i'm saying like you got a little dock and then you can see the reflection of all the apps and like the little light lights up every time an app is open but maybe it's just like nostalgia blindness i don't know gotta move on sometime okay well now it's time for mac os 10 leopard from 2007 <laughs> Oh my god, that's such a throwback. I always love this wallpaper, by the way. I, maybe this should be my current wallpaper, honestly. And look at that old hard drive logo, dude. And all these old app icons. Dashboard! I forgot about that. Oh yeah! By the way, this is a whole era change as well, because this is actually running on PowerPC. Leopard was the last macOS to actually run on PowerPC and Intel. Snow Leopard only runs on Intel processors, so. And there will come a day when the latest macOS version won't run on Intel anymore. Dude, that old iTunes logo, oh my god. And spaces. I really love this aqua theme. Like, it's... Do we have internet? Well, I really doubt it's gonna be usable. Let's try Safari. Dude, how do you make freaking new tabs? Like, <laughs> let's open iTunes. Well, actually, I shouldn't do two things at once because that's gonna freaking... Yes, bro, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude. This is such a throwback. I remember when they used to have the play count for songs. I had like one song played it like 120 times. Maybe I shouldn't say this on the internet. 
I don't think it's gonna be able to access the iTunes store. Oh, look at that old applications logo. Oh my God, I forgot about that. Front row. That was front row, maybe I should. Whoa. Yeah, iTunes could not connect to the iTunes store. Whoa. Did it crash or is this? I think this is front row? Yeah, I remember this. But that was Automator. You can like make automated scripts like you know like oh open this and open this and open this like oh my god There used to be an app for that. That's crazy I think we should rewind the clock even further to 2005 with Mac OS 10 tiger <laughs> Oh my god, oh, that's such a throwback. Oh my god. Look at that old wallpaper And of course the green iTunes logo Mac OS tiger was the first operating system to be built on both power PC and Intel What is that freaking I logo like Dude, look at how Safari had like that little brushed metal look like. I'm sorry, Googling stuff. Google. Oh, dude, Google loaded. See, we do have internet. And also, Mac OS Tiger is the first one to introduce spotlight search. That is so convenient. It's actually called index search. So I could like search up QuickTime and then it'll show a QuickTime player, which back then searching was not this easy. Try using the Windows XP search. It's terrible. Everything had like a brushed metal look. This is so cool. And these old folder icons, my God. <gasps> Chess and Sherlock. I have no freaking clue how it works. I like that little blue apple icon, stickies. I think this was like notes before notes. I wish we had the chime, the I think it's time to move on. Mac OS Panther. Wow, that old loading bar. Look at the old iMovie logo, oh my God. It looks pretty similar to Tiger though. There's only like a few changes. Actually, Panther is the first Mac operating system I ever used as well. No way. Internet Explorer. Actually, this is a very interesting story, but I will explain it a few more operating systems down the line. You'll see. You know, just for curiosity's sake though, I'm gonna open Internet Explorer. Hey, it still works. Is it just me or is the color a little bit off? It's supposed to be like bluer. This like blue green. Is it just me or does this work better than Safari did on Tiger? How do you even make a new freaking tab? Like this is so, oh well, maybe let's see what iMovie looked like. It says NTSC because this was the days of camcorders. Like you had NTSC and PAL. What? The photos app looked like that? Okay, so now it's time for Mac OS 10.2 Jaguar. Whoa, that's that's a different wallpaper as well. We haven't seen this wallpaper before. First things first, purple iTunes logo. How many times are you gonna change the freaking color? Ah, uh, yes. Internet Explorer, which by the way is the default browser. You might notice we don't have Safari. What the frick, dude? That's how Finder looked. So the default browser on this is Internet Explorer. Might as well look at it. Oh, dude, dude, this just seems so basic. Like, it's all bare bones. And is that the old iMac logo? So now it's time for Mac OS 10.1 Puma. Still has the remnants of Mac OS 9. And that loading icon as well. I love that blue logo. So nostalgic. It looks so cool, but at the same time, so archaic as well. That is an old, old QuickTime player logo. And the iTunes logo. And of course, Internet Explorer. Let's open a window. The computer logo is even older. Can I just say yeah, that, like, Mac OS? Especially Mac OS 10 looks so modern for its time. Like they kind of have the transparency effect going with the dock and stuff. Like this was way before Windows Aero. Keep in mind, this is from 2001. Windows Aero didn't come in until 2007 in Windows Vista. Although that did come with sacrifices. They were very, very slow. And that's because of all these UI elements. But it looks so good. The quote from Steve Jobs is, When you saw it, you wanted to lick it. Well now, it's finally time for Mac OS 10.0 Cheetah. Now that's interesting. The freaking logo was great. I just love going through old operating systems. Yeah, as you can see, it's quite bare bones. This is where this whole Aqua interface came in, by the way. However, there was a reason why Puma was released just six months after Cheetah, and that's because Cheetah had a mixed reception. As you can guess, a lot of core features were missing, like no DVD player. In fact, you couldn't burn CDs or DVDs either. And the operating system was known to be quite unstable. All these GUI elements, like the shininess and the arrow and stuff, it was really taxing on your hardware, especially in 2001. Like you can see, there's these cool animations, like you see that, right? Like. I, we take that for granted today. Like, like modern Macs still do this, right? But all these features came here. Mac OS did get off to a shaky start. Imagine though, when this came out, Windows 2000 was the latest Windows release. So in some ways, Apple was ahead, but it came at a cost. Whoa, it's a preview release. But before we go, I have one more surprise. This is Mac OS 9.2 from before Mac OS 10 was still a thing. From 1999, I'm pretty sure. 1999, 2001, that's how Cheetah looked. Like the 
difference is night and day. This looks so archaic in that old rainbow Apple logo. Mac OS 9 and Mac OS 10 are kind of two different things. In fact, in the early days, a lot of people dual booted both. <laughs> Look at the freaking, how do you even close the windows? Like, I don't even understand. By the way, I'm getting lost here. Like, like this is so different. Like, what the frick is this stuff? Like, that's the close button. There's no minimize either. Like, 